surgical treatment for a rotator cuff tear means just repairing that tear. So reattaching that tendon back down to the bone. There are a few different ways that we can do that. Uh, one way, and this is kind of the, the gold standard, the way that, that it was done for many, many years was with what we call a mini open procedure. Uh, open just means that we make an incision and we look at it directly. So for this, uh, we make a, a small incision on the side of the shoulder uh, and we look directly at that rotator cuff and we grasp that tendon and pull it over and reattach it back down to the bone. So we do that with what we call suture anchors. So anchors are essentially plastic screws that go into the bone and they have sutures or a string attached to them um, and that helps pull that, that tendon back down and reattach it to the bone. Um, another option is an arthroscopic repair. So arthroscopic means that we're look, using a camera to look inside the joint. Um, so for this, we use multiple small incisions. So little poke holes that are maybe as, as long as, as wide as my fingernail is. Um, we take a camera, we look inside, and we can see the tear. So here we're looking at the rotator cuff. Uh, and this view, we're kind of looking at it from the side. So from this view. So the ball and socket joint would be deep down in this hole here. So we can't really see it. Uh, the uh, arm bone, or the, the ball, the ball and socket joint would be here. Uh, and this is the rotator cuff. So this tissue uh, should be coming down and attaching to the bone here. But we can see that it's torn off completely here. So what we do is we use those same suture anchors. So little plastic screws go into the bone. And then sutures that come up through the, the cuff tissue. And then once we tie those sutures down, it pulls that tendon back down to the bone. So that's kind of the easy part. The hard part is getting it to stay there. And so that's where our bodies have to heal that tendon back down to the bone. And that's kind of the hard part about rotator cuff surgery. And that's why the recovery can be so long. And we'll talk a little bit about that too. Um, so here we are again, cuff repaired back down to the bone. When we look at these two different options, uh, there's really no bad option. So uh, if, we, if you look at the studies and look at the outcomes of people who've had both, uh, they are essentially equivalent. Uh, different surgeons will, will approach this differently. Um, I do all of my repairs arthroscopically. Um, that's mainly because that's the way that I train, the way I've always done it, and I feel that's the best the way that I can best repair it. Um, so, um, but doing it through an open incision is completely fine as well. So if, if you see someone and they talk about, about it that way too, uh, there's, that's, that's a completely acceptable way of doing things. Uh, so the recovery. So this is the hard part about rotator cuff surgery um, because it is a, long and uh, especially painful in the, in the early parts of, of the surgery, uh, the recovery. So most people are in a sling for about six weeks. Um, and that is primarily just to keep that tendon down attached to the bone where we put it. Um, like we said, the problem here is the blood supply. Um, and so it takes a long time for that tendon to reattach itself back down to the bone. And those sutures, no matter how strong they are, are never gonna be strong enough to keep it there forever if it doesn't reattach itself. So. So that's kind of the challenge that we run into. During that time, uh, most people do physical therapy. So I have my patients start physical therapy immediately. So even a few days after the surgery to start moving that shoulder. Um, but you're not moving it. The therapist is moving it for you. Um, and that way you're not putting as much stress on that repair. Um, but we also don't want the shoulder to get stiff in the meantime. Uh, we kind of progress from the, from the therapist moving it, which is called passive exercises, to you moving it on your own, which is active exercises. Um, and then we slowly progress to strengthening, um, but the total recovery time for a rotator cuff surgery can be up to six months. Um, most people are feeling better and kind of back to normal life, normal everyday activities by about three months, but, but the recovery can definitely be very long. And depending on the tear, it can be even longer. So sometimes even up to eight months. Um, so that's why we try to take care of this without a surgery if we can. So if you can, get by with an injection and some physical therapy for a couple months, it's much, much better than going through a surgery and going through a long recovery like this. But again, sometimes this is necessary.